Deep Oaken has a ton of races, but why not make some more? In the past, I've designed concepts for Deep Oaken races that I think fit into the game and could be added. Some examples of my work can be found in the Rot Weave series where Natoons and I made some creepy looking race variants. Well, anyway, designing things is my passion and for almost an entire year of Deep Oaken, we've gone without a new race. So I opened up Photoshop and that other program and I gave it a shot. Of course, this does not mean my concepts will be added into the game, but I do this for fun. It's very exciting for me to show off my skills and talk about my design process. It's punchy and today I'll be diving deep into the design of an interesting Deep Oaken race that I made. But before we start, I want to slow it down and thank you for all your support since the beginning. We finally hit 30,000 subscribers, which is crazy, so I thought I'd do something special for this event. Thank you all again and enjoy! Deep Oaken's races are all inspired by animals, well, most of them. We've got deer, we've got cats, even weird looking snails, but they all resemble animals. I had an idea. I'm a big fan of unique looking animals that stand out in comparison to all the others. Ferrets, I'm sure you've seen them around the internet, have been put into the cute animal category. Of course, you all know I'm great at modeling cute race concepts so this wasn't a problem. Ferrets have been known for their devious actions like stealing things, rolling around on the ground, and acting like slinkies. I mean, that's all I'm really looking for in a Deep Oaken race. But yeah, many people think ferrets are cute looking, which is funny to me. I kind of think the opposite. I wanted to create a Deep Oaken race that reflected the anger of these creatures, because to me, they always look mad. My design started off a bit rough, but in the end, I got a result I was happy with. If you're following the punchy process for creating a race, you have to follow one of the three C's. You either have to pick a cool race, a cute race, or a creepy race, so I wanted this design to be cool, all my other ones were really creepy. Starting off with the eye design for this race, I was looking for something unique. The first design had some giant looking X eyes that I honestly was not happy with. I think it's best to avoid circular patterns for the eyes because it would look way too similar to Ganymede. After playing around with the eye design, I tried adding some symbols to spice it up. Some ideas for the eyes were Sharingans or runes, but I felt like circular rings did the job correctly. This eye design was inspired by the character Makima from Chainsaw Man. For one version, I even tried on some deep oaken symbols just to see what it would look like. It's funny, but I'm glad this choice did not make it to the final draft. At this point, I kind of hit a wall with the eye design, so for now I focus on the markings behind the eyes. Ferrets have this band around their eyes that's almost like a raccoon, and trying this out was quite the challenge. The facial markings started simple with a gradient color and some puffy eye symbols, but I eventually cleaned it up into these leaf looking things. It's not too realistic, but I was going for a fantasy ferret anyway. Rough draft time was coming to a close, and I felt like I needed to add some type of animal characteristics so people would know that it was a ferret. Personally, I don't like adding cat ears, tails, or even whiskers, but every single animal race has something like this. So, whisker designs were played with and the facial features were almost complete, but the eyes still pissed me off. At the end, I eventually tidied up the eyes and made them into more of a squint and eventually added some more racial characteristics. Some ferrets are kind of fluffy and almost have a mane around their neck. So, I was inspired by this and some type of otter Pokemon. I came up with some neck fur that would be an optional cosmetic. And here's my final concept. As you can see, these little ferret thingies are very angry, but if this was added, I assume different emotions and scars could be added to spice it up. These ferrets are even smaller than the Axolotl race, standing at 75% of the original character height. I know this wouldn't work in game, and I know it's not a good idea, but head moderator Hori TM, aka my boss, just really wanted to see a mini race just for fun. Now, onto the hard part. Lore, variants, and a goofy name. So, Ferris, what could be a good name for them? Well, I think they're always angry, almost full of anger. So, the name became Angerfuls. With the name in mind, the original Angerfuls white and gold design became the cinnamon variant, but I didn't just stop there. I made a black and white variant, which I called the Masked Angerfuls and a brown and yellow one, which is the chocolate variant. I'm just a crazy guy and I'm not really sure why I named some characters after food, but we all know even the greatest characters are named after food. I'm not the best at making up lore, but the main idea for the Angerfuls is that they're extremely rare and extremely mad. Ever since the authority pulled up, they've been sitting in silence, just raging and preparing to strike back. That's all I really came up with. I do think it would be pretty funny to have Angerfuls spawn in trees or laying on the ground with cap artists because a lot of these ferrets are super flexible and like playing dead. Maybe if there's more building in the future, a forest biome would be the best place for the Angerfuls and their little clans. I don't always bother talking about a racial talent because I'm all about cosmetics. Comment down below what you would like to see them get on spawn. And that's all. Hopefully you enjoyed this design. It was very fun for practice and I already made another race concept that I'll touch on next time. That one's actually inspired off a of land tortoise, so like and subscribe if you want to see more of that. Thank you guys and have have a good one.